The James Webb Space Telescope has gotten us closer than ever before to some of humanity's deepest questions. How was our universe formed? When did existence start existing? Why are we here? This telescope is allowing us to peer into the origins of our universe, allowing us to see back in time and understand our place in the cosmos, giving us the best look we've ever had at the very origins of our universe. Images from the James Webb Space Telescope has allowed us to explore what we believe to be the very beginning of time, but its recent discovery is seriously challenging our belief. Now it says time doesn't exist. How is it possible that time doesn't exist? Should the theory of space and time be abandoned? Let's find out. Many civilizations had their own answers for what the stars were and were for. Thousands of years ago with no planetary tools other than the eyes and the imagination, ancient Egyptians aligned their temples and pyramids with the stars, believing their pharaohs became stars in the sky after death and that such alignment of their earthbound structures would give those past pharaohs direct access to the northern sky. Less than 1,000 miles away, at the ancient city of Babylon in southern Mesopotamia, Babylonians believed the planets to be the gods moving through the sky by divine design and began to see the patterns in the stars that they theorized could tell the future. Or, on the other side of the world, the indigenous Maori of Aotearoa, New Zealand, saw the stars as eyes, seven eyes to be exact, and thought they were being gazed upon from above by the god of the wind. Today, we understand the stars to be giant balls of gas and the known universe to extend far beyond them. It's astonishing to acknowledge how far we've come as the human race, from mere speculation about what might be up there, or rather out there, to real knowledge of exactly what it is. The same stars that once helped ancient peoples navigate the seas now allow modern scientists to navigate the universe and tell us more than we could ever imagine. The James Webb Space Telescope is just the latest in a long line of scientific innovations to help answer our big questions. The Webb builds on the work of the famed Hubble Telescope, using its longer wavelength coverage and greatly improved sensitivity giving us images with stunning clarity even from far away. These galaxies are so, so far away. The light that the web is seeing has spent as much as 28 billion light years to get to us. Stay with me here. That means the images that web is seeing are showing us what was present in those locations as long as 28 billion light years ago. Because of the way light travels in space and the time it takes to travel that far, the JWST is literally providing pictures of the past. With this knowledge of light in space, scientists designed the James Webb Space Telescope to search for the very first galaxies formed after the Big Bang, determine just how those galaxies, stars, and planets formed and evolved, and investigate the potential for life within those systems. Now, the earliest galaxies ever detected, spotted by the James Webb Space Telescope, did not form until 350 million years after the Big Bang. Not only did that infant universe take its time bringing forth its galactic masses, it also didn't build very big ones once it got around to it. The first galaxies were often dwarf galaxies, containing perhaps 100 million stars, compared to the size of modern galaxies like our Milky Way which is believed to contain a minimum of 100 billion stars. Early galaxies, so the rule goes, were pipsqueaks. Or at least that's what the rule used to be. According to a new discovery, objects that are thought to be at least six galaxies dating back as far as 500 million years after the Big Bang have been discovered with populations of tens or even hundreds of billions of stars. The largest of the six is thought to have a collective mass one trillion times greater than our sun, or 10 times the size of the Milky Way. It's bananas, said Erica Nelson, an assistant professor of astrophysics at the University of Colorado Boulder and a co-author of the paper, in a statement that accompanied its release. You just don't expect the early universe to be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies should not have had time to form. But does time exist? The answer to this question may seem obvious, but it's not. The latest developments now suggest that non-existence of time is an open possibility and one that we should take seriously. According to physicists and philosophers, 
time might not exist. How can that be? And what would it mean? Physics is in crisis. For the past century or so, we have explained the universe with two wildly successful physical theories, general relativity and quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics describes how things work in the incredibly tiny world of particles and particle interactions. General relativity describes the big picture of gravity and how objects move. Both theories work extremely well in their own right, but the two are thought to conflict with one another. Though the exact nature of the conflict is controversial, scientists generally agree both theories need to be replaced with a new, more general theory. Physicists want to produce a theory of quantum gravity that replaces general relativity and quantum mechanics, while capturing the extraordinary success of both. Such a theory would explain how gravity's big picture works at the miniature scale of particles. It turns out that producing a theory of quantum gravity is extraordinarily difficult. One attempt to overcome the conflict between the two theories is string theory. String theory replaces particles with strings vibrating in as many as 11 dimensions. However, string theory faces a further difficulty. String theories provide a range of models that describe a universe broadly like our own and they don't really make any clear predictions that can be tested by experiments to figure out which model is the right one. In the 1980s and 1990s, many physicists became dissatisfied with string theory and came up with a range of new mathematical approaches to quantum gravity. One of the most prominent of these is loop quantum gravity, which proposes that the fabric of space and time is made of a network of extremely small discrete chunks, or loops. One of the remarkable aspects of loop quantum gravity is that it appears to eliminate time entirely. Loop quantum gravity is not alone in abolishing time. A number of other approaches also seem to remove time as a fundamental aspect of reality. So we know we need a new physical theory to explain the universe, and that this theory might not feature time. Suppose such a theory turns out to be correct. Would it follow that time does not exist? It's complicated, and it depends on what we mean by exist. Managing in a world without time seems positively disastrous. Our entire lives are built around time. We plan for the future in light of what we know about the past. We hold people morally accountable for their past actions, with an eye to reprimanding them later on. We believe ourselves to be agents, entities that can take action, in part because we can plan to act in a way that will bring about changes in the future. But what's the point of acting to bring about a change in the future, when, in a very real sense, there is no future to act for? What's the point of punishing someone for a past action, when there is no past, and so apparently, no such action? The discovery that time does not exist would seem to bring the entire world to a grinding halt we would have no reason to get out of bed. There is a way out of the mess. While physics might eliminate time, it seems to leave causation intact, the sense in which one thing can bring about another. Perhaps what physics is telling us is that causation and not time is the basic feature of our universe. It seems paradoxical to believe that time is not real, but many assumptions that humankind had made about how the world functions now need to be completely rethought. We are now questioning everything, including time. There have been so many things in physics that we thought were fundamental that turned out to be mere illusions. What if time really doesn't exist? 